Hello, this is Toby and I'm here to present ancient myths from the Middle East. Hi, I'm Epsu, the god of fresh water. Hi, and I am the goddess of sea water. Honey, would you like a glass of water? No, will you pass me the salt? I can't. That's why we decided to have children. Before we start, let me remind you that our new children's book, The Story of Ulysses Cat, is now available on Amazon. This is a kid-friendly version of Homer's Odyssey, a classic ballad but told through the eyes of Ulysses Cat. Every page is accompanied by beautiful illustrations, making this a great story for kids of all ages. If you have any animation or illustration projects, please don't hesitate to contact us for further details. Now let's get on with our show. In the previous lecture, we discussed the story of Gilgamesh, an ancient Mesopotamian epic. Now let's talk about another important book called Enuma Elish. Written some years after Gilgamesh, it narrates how creation began. In fact, Enuma Elish is the opening phrase of the book, translating to when on high. Thus, its setting is the heavens, where two pre-existing gods, Apsu and Tiamat, reside. Apsu is the god of fresh water, of rivers and lakes, and Tiamat is the goddess of seawater. Out of these two gods, the rest of the deities come into existence. When their sons misbehave, Apsu gets tired of them and decides to kill them. Tiamat, however, informs one of the sons, Ea, of the plan. Ea then kills Apsu in his sleep and takes his place as the supreme god. He consorts with Damkina and produces another son, Marduk. Marduk, here lies your grandfather. He was a great man. Uh, how did he die? Your father killed him. <laughs> you shouldn't have said that. Tiamat is angered by Apsu's death and plots revenge. She creates eleven monsters and prepares for battle which scares Ea and the other gods. However, Marduk promises to save them if they make him their supreme god. Ea therefore yields his position to Marduk. Hello everyone, as you have heard, Tiamat has created 11 monsters and is going to take revenge. Oh no! Oh no! Yes, uh, we are gathered to find a solution. Give leadership to me and I will challenge her myself. No, I shall not do such a thing. Hello everyone, as you have heard, Tiamat has created 11 monsters and is going to take revenge. Oh no! Oh no! So I will challenge her. Marduk fights against Tiamat, wins, kills her and cuts her body into two pieces. He then uses these to create the heavens and the earth, with half of Tiamat's body forming the earth, and the other half forming the sky. He assigns each part of the world to a god, creates the sun, the moon, and tide, and builds a calendar. He announces himself as the supreme god, and from the fight with Tiamat, he takes Kingu, Tiamat's husband, as a prisoner. He kills Kingu and fashions humans from his body. I know you will rule over the heavens, and Lil, you realm means the air. And you, Ea, you will have the waters. As for our prisoner, Kingu, I have something else in mind. Ha <laughs> ha. Marduk, the god of gods, does not want other gods to perform the cultic duties and worship for him. Therefore, it is the human's responsibility to fulfill these religious duties and to worship Marduk and the rest of the gods. According to Enuma Elish, the purpose of human creation was solely to worship the gods. This is the end of our lecture on Enuma Elish. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave your comments. And check out the description for extra details. Until the next lecture, goodbye.